Hello, in this video uh, we're going to show you an alternative way of programming microcontrollers which is really useful when you have a system that's continually processing large amounts of data in a set pattern. For example, processing music, filtering signals or controlling a system using PID. Now this is known as digital signal processing or sometimes data flow programming and Flowcode is really good at it. And traditionally DSP was the preserve of a specialized kind of chip um, fast chips, but now that you can get 32-bit microcontrollers running at, say, 200 megahertz, they're fantastic for DSP and you don't need a specialized device. Now, you can see the DSP components in Flowcode under the DSP category, um, and you've got a load of different ways of getting data into the microcontroller through different pins or CSV files, um, lots of different ways of getting data out, and then a load of operators. So you can add signals together, you can average signals, you can rectify signals, um, you can carry out fast Fourier transforms, which are really useful uh, mathematical constructs. Uh, you can filter things, PID, as I said before, uh, multiplex and do all sorts of stuff. And here we've got a little program that is performing an echo. And the way this works is the first thing you do is on the panel, rather than putting electronic components, you describe your program's functionality using these components. So, and this is, and this is running on a 44 kilohertz interrupt. So in, in the main routine, that's the only command there is in the main routine. Um, we enable a timer interrupt um, at 44 kilohertz, which is the same frequency that you use when you've got compact disks, and it calls a macro, user macro. In user macro, what we do is each of the components on the panel has an individual macro that effectively makes it function. And on the panel, we have here an input. So it takes an input from AN1, and that input is fed into two other uh, command icons. The first is a delay of 2,000 uh, sorry, 20,000 samples. And the other one is a summing component. And basically this takes part of the delayed signal and the original signal, and then it puts it to an output. And the output is connected to port H, uh, as you can see here. So this is the entire program. Um, and it's really a neat way of seeing how your program is functioning. These diagrams are often used in textbooks to describe how systems process signals. Now, what you're going to need, of course, is um, a little bit of signal conditioning on your chip. And let me just show you the hardware I've got. This hardware is from Matrix and it's called a SysBlock. And that's this panel here. And it's basically a big um, PIC32. It's got two inputs on these small BNC connectors and two outputs. But you've also got inputs and outputs on standard 2.1 millimeter uh, stereo jacks. Uh, this is a little diagram that shows you how it works. It's a big pick, it's got some inputs, some outputs, and we're using the uh, a standard R2R ladder network. It's a 16-bit ladder network and um, basically you can look that up on the internet. It's a way of making a really fast and high quality um, digital to analog conversion. Um, there's a few other bits and pieces. There's an LCD display, some encoders here, but basically it's a microcontroller, um, signal conditioning on the inputs and outputs. And the echo program is, is already in there. And I've got a little radio here and some speakers. Um, the signal is going into the uh, sysblock and out into the speakers. And if I turn the radio on, um, And if I can turn the radio, the audio up a bit. For me, for me, a good outcome, a good outcome in a criminal, in a criminal case, case is not always, is not always a not guilty, a not guilty uh, verdict, uh, verdict from the jury. From the jury sometimes, sometimes it, is, it is. So you can hear the echo and you can understand how that works. Now what we'll do is we'll also look at another example, which is just slightly more complicated. So here's another example, which is a audio reverb system. The main routine just has the 
interrupt definition, which is the same as before, and that calls user macro. And user macro just has the calls for each one of the DSP icons. On the panel, you can see that as before, we've got the signal coming in on channel analog one. We've got the output on port H again, which is fed to an R2R ladder network. The input is fed to a mixer. And then we basically reduce the amplitude of that signal by a factor of four, and we successively delay the signal and pass the delayed quantities to an adder that's then filtered and then fed back to the mixer at the front. So it's a feedback system, a reverb system. And if we turn the radio on, Going back to our hardware. Is there some way of you know, playing to his strengths? Sounds interesting. How could we do that? So that's a reverb effect system. Now what you can do, of course, is you can have multiple systems effectively in one program and you can create a complete digital effects system just with one chip using the flow code um, DSP icons. So that explains how you can do digital signal processing with microcontrollers using flow code uh, and any one of a number of chips from ST, microchip um, or Espressive um, can be used in this way. Okay, thank you for watching.